Hey everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today I'm doing a custom order for somebody. Um, I had a one of my loyal customers ask me about um, doing a, a soap for someone who is going through chemo and what would be really nice and moisturizing for that person. Um, so, you know, she, she asked about olive oil and shea butter. And I said, well, my Rise and Shine soap is olive and shea, and it's totally moisturizing. So that's what we're going to do. I'm making this for her. I'm going to make hopefully a dozen bars here um, out of olive and shea. I've got a little bit of castor oil in here as well to hopefully boost the lather a bit. It's mostly, it's like a 70% olive oil soap. So this is going to be like super duper moisturizing. And I'm hoping that her recipient loves it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to blend this to a light trace. I'm going to pour off some into this pitcher and uh, color it lavender. The rest I'm leaving natural. And we're going to fragrance this with a blend of lavender and chamomile. So I'm hoping these will be a really pretty bar. And uh, well, they should be a really pretty bar. So we're gonna get started. Pour my lye in. And get to blending. And these are going to be nice sized bars. They fit in the hand well. I use this mold for my um, for my shampoo bars. For my shampoo bars. I love that color. It's a beautiful, creamy, natural color. So I'm going to pour some of this off now into my pitcher. color that and then I'm going to hand stir in the fragrance so let me put a little of the lavender in there I'll give this another jizz okay so there's that This is lavender mica. I'm going to scrape off my my blender here. And if you hear anything in the background, my husband's uh, working on trying to put these handles on on my door or his door to the office okay so I'm gonna pour in my fragrance into each and we're gonna hand hand blend these get that out of the way mmm smells lovely And I think what I'm going to do is maybe I should blend this a little bit more with the mixer. I 
think I will. Just blend it just a little bit more. I don't want to go too much, though. I'm going to wipe this off a bit, though. So my spatula doesn't get it all that clean. Anyway, I'll just do this a bit more. So much olive oil in here. Okay, so that's pretty light trace. We'll uh, blend this as well, just a little bit. Again. bit of cleaning and then I'm gonna do an in the pot kind of pour so I just want a gentle swirl of both of these together okay so I'm going to go in a few different areas And then down a little lower. Hopefully this turns out really lovely. It smells lovely. It's not overpowering. It's very lightly scented. So set that there and just kind of going to go back and forth just a couple times because I don't want it to get muddied. Okay. And then we're going to pour it into the mold little by little here. Hopefully you can see the molds there. I think these will look beautiful. I'm hoping this makes 12, should. Yeah. Make 12 and then We'll use my spatula and get the last bits in each one of these, kind of top it off. So Linda, if you're watching, I hope you're approving so far. This is for my gal Linda in California. So just trying to top all of these off, make them even. And I, I don't have my mold sitting on a board, so I can't tamp these down. So I'm just kind of, you see me kind of tapping it with the spatula. I'm just trying to get everything down there and level it out. All right, so I'm going to scrape this out. I'm 
and pour the remainder into another mold. I won't get a full bar, but I'll get a, a little sample and uh, throw that in with her order. So that Linda has one to try. Get that scraped out, scrapey, scrapey we go. All right. And we'll just kind of jiggle that around. And I think these will be beautiful. We'll just give them a little kind of a swirl on the top, or which will be the bottom of the soap, just to kind of add some texture. Get that across there. And we're about done. There we go. And hopefully those will turn out to be just gorgeous when we pop them out of the mold tomorrow. I'm sure they will. Um, so until then, we're going to stop the video and come back to pop them out of the mold tomorrow. Hey everyone. Okay, we're back and ready to pop these beauties out of the mold. Uh, they've been sitting for about two days uh, because the olive oil content in these is so high. Um, I let them sit a little bit longer. So we're going to pop them out and see what beautiful moisturizing flowers we have for Linda, for her acquaintance that's going through chemo. Wanted a nice moisturizing bar. And these are going to really be awesome. Once they finish curing, they're going to be great filled with olive oil and shea butter. Look at the beautiful color. Natural with a touch of lavender swirled in. And that just beautiful flower bar fits perfect in the palm of your hand. So it's going to be fantastic, easy to use bar of soap. Just look at the Look at the beautiful color. It's just gorgeous, really. I'll get these other ones out. Oh, look at the look at the swirl pattern on some of these. It's just wonderful the way it comes out of the the pour. Another one. They're all a gorgeous, gorgeous color. We'll get the rest of these out and then we'll come in for a close up. There. And here. And then I have Linda's um, little sample bar. I had taken that out earlier. Really nice. Not so much purple in that one, but these are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Let me wipe off my fingers and then we'll get you a uh, close up flyby. So here we go our lavender and chamomile moisturizing bars. A really nice soap for someone that's going through the most terrible of events. And there's her little sample bar. But uh, hopefully she enjoys these. I just love that one. That one's so pretty. Look at how this swirl came around the flower petals. Just gorgeous. So you never know what you're going to get with a swirl. But these are really pretty. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe to be notified when a new video pops up. In the meantime... Check us out over on Instagram and Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps and check out our Etsy store. And uh, if you have a special request you'd like me to do, please feel free to contact me via Facebook. And we'll see what we can do, just like we did for Linda.
Till next time, thanks for watching everyone. Bye for now.